name's Claire Gravenall and this is my final piece for the Outside In Exploring Collections. Uh, the research project was based in the South Downs and I chose to do this photograph is the piece that I chose to research and it's uh, taken from Devil's Dyke. The photographer is Simon Roberts, so I researched Simon Roberts and his work. And he was very different, obviously he's a photographer, I'm a painter. And his work is more political and reflects society and Englishness. So to him, this was part of the project. We are English. This is the 13th photograph. And I chose it because of the light. I like it's very atmospheric, the light coming through the dark clouds. There's this kind of element of romanticism here. Um, this couple on a bike, having a nice day out, resting from cycling up there. It's a great big hill. So I took several trips up to Devil's Dyke, and when I walked on the paths, and when I was up there, I had a sense of time. I felt like these paths were symbolic, the fact that for thousands of years, people have walked on child and they've ground the chalk down and they've got deeper and deeper so there's a sense that people had been up on the land had been there and there's an iron fort settlement at the top so I looked into the history of the land so for me the land represented this kind of feeling of connection and where people lived and they felt secure and they obviously hunted. So in the chalk there's flint, and they made flint objects to survive. So our relationship to landscape, I felt when I was there, has changed so much. So you've got, you get the sense of history when you're walking, but at the same time my mind was thinking, oh my God, my, the society has changed so much. You walk up there and people on their iPhones. You know, I, I feel like no one has a connection to the sense of landscape. So when I looked at the Extinction Rebellion on their website, they have facts about what's happening to the environment. And for me, it was a point where I could reflect on what is going on in the world. And so I wrote the quotes on the canvas. And here is the... Um, so this is the canvas of the final painting, but this is the underneath, so this was the beginning. So when you write something on a canvas, it brings it alive. So you read something on uh, a screen, yeah? It's almost dead. When you start writing with ink on a canvas, you, you make that thing come alive. And when I was writing it, I became more passionate about doing the piece, because I was like, can I read the quote? Yeah. Okay, so the quote is, the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, and the beauty and diversity of nature that nourishes our psychological well-being are all being corrupted and compromised by political and economical systems that promote and support our modern consumer-focused lifestyle. The quote, which is, if you, if you turn the painting around, you will still see the quote, it's written in acrylic ink. So it goes across there, so it's up there, it's all written underneath. So I painted over it. The reason why I painted over it is symbolic for the fact that we disguise, we hide the reality of what's happening. We don't, we don't publicise it. People cover up things all the time. Politicians, governments cover up what they're doing. They don't want people to know because there'll be more disruption. You know, people will start rioting if they knew what was going on. So I emulated what our society is doing by painting a pretty picture over a landscape which is being destroyed.